Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here today to start a new project. This is a, actually it's a challenge that Jessica Lee here on YouTube started at the beginning of this year called 365 Days of Eyeshadows. Well, hashtag 365 Days of Eyeshadows. I've seen several folks do this project. Obviously Jessica does it. Um, I know I follow Danny here on YouTube. She's been doing this project. My friend Valerie's doing this project. So I've seen lots of folks participate in this challenge and challenge, not project. And I did not because I really wanted to focus on my pan that palette. That was kind of a focus for me. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm close. So I decided to go ahead and start this project now because I feel like I have time. And the other thing is, is I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do a pan that palette next year. I think it depends on the theme for that the Fantastic Ladies end up voting on. I have a cat hair. So that may sway me, but I've kind of been, you know, since the beginning of this year, I've really been wanting to work on just using like items in my collection, not necessarily hyper focusing on finishing things and not to say that I don't finish things because I do. I finish a fair amount of things. I still have a cat here somewhere. But when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I have a lot of palettes, guys. Like I think I have like over 200 palettes. So focusing on one palette for an entire year means I don't give any love to the other palettes that I have in my collection. So this year I started working on the, the Pan Those Eyeshadows project, which I'm really enjoying. But one thing that I want to do moving forward throughout the rest of this year is actually rotating through my collection. And I thought I would, I would incorporate the 365 Days of Eyeshadows into that project into like that project with this idea that I have together and that way I can participate in the challenge as well as you know use some of my palettes that are unloved so what I'm going to do I'm going to randomly select between four to five palettes it all depends on the size of those palettes and each week I want to play around with each palette. So one week I'll focus on one palette and not to say that I would use that same palette all week, but I just want to get like maybe two minimum of two uses out of the palette in general and trying at some, and if I don't use every single shadow in the palette, that's okay. That's fine. I'm not going to give myself a lot of strict rules about this project, but I just, cause I, I mean, with 200 palettes, I'm going to go through, there's a lot of shadows for me to work on. So I think it'll help me play around with the palettes that I have, make sure I do enjoy the palettes that I have and I don't want to declutter them and, you know, have some fun and do a challenge with it at the same time. So that's the plan. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I will leave all the information for the 365 days of eyeshadows challenge in the description box below because Jessica is the one who started that challenge. So I was thinking about it and I may, should I, I was going to say, I may select three randomly and then pick my own, like, I want to play with this palette palette. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's first select our three to four palettes. So it all kind of depends on the size, but let's go ahead and start. So I have my wheel of names app open. I have imported all of the palettes that I have not worked on yet this year. If I've pulled the palette into my pan those eyeshadows project, I'm not including it here as of yet. I may bring those palettes back in as if it's been like six months since I've, since I've worked on them, but I kind of want to showcase like new palettes that I haven't like seen yet <laughs> in a long time. So that's kind of the goal for right now. 
but I may bring those palettes back in, but you know, I've got so many of them. So I just, I want to rotate. So anyway, we are going to start with selecting three to four palettes and then I will pick my own like fun palette to work on. So here we go. Oh, after all that discussion. What did we get? Okay, this is kind of a boring one, but whatever. Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I'm sure that'll be a really great base palette for a bunch of different looks. So even though it's kind of a boring neutral, it's fine. Palette number two. Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves. Mm, okay. That's two. Natasha Denona Glam Palette. That's three. Bloody da. Oops. Four is the Tarte Little Bloom Palette. Little Bloom. Okay, so that's four. So let me go pull these and then I will showcase the palette that I pick. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have my palettes. Hmm? And Milo's back. Look at that. Look at how cute he is. Hi, Milo. What you doing, buddy? I remember somebody was like, Milo's never in your videos. Well, he's in the video. First palette we got was the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. No, everybody's seen this palette. You're a lot, by the way, a lot of these are gonna be like, I've never used this. So prepare yourself. So here is this palette here. So, you know, there's tons of neutrals in this and I think it'll be a good palette to have this week as I play around with, you know, and they're all mattes, of course, matte shadows. And it'll be nice to have this around as I'm working on like the, some shades in my pan, those eyeshadows and this one's kind of boring to swatch, so I'm not going to spend too much time swatching it. But, you know, it'll be a nice palette to have in rotation. So those are just some shadows from that palette. So that's a good one. And it'll be easy to hit, like, you know, three or four shades out of this palette at one time. And I'm not... I don't think I'm going to be like, I'm only using one shadow a day. It's like, I'll just do a look and however many shadows I use out of that palette, that'll be fine. And I may go over like 30, however many it is, 30 or 31 for the month. I'm just going to use however many I can. Next palette is the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mobs palette. And here is, okay, this is the one that's broken. I have a broken shadow in here. So here is this palette. As you can see, this shadow broke and I don't know if, it, I think it broke in my drawer to be honest, but I have used this palette. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So this again is all mattes and I have used this before and it's, it would, it's gonna be a good, companion palette to some of my purple shadows if I use it in that way or I may just use this separately but there is that palette there super pretty the marvelous mobs all right so I think the next palette we got was the glam palette the Natasha Denona glam palette so here is the glam palette. You can see the reflection of my camera. Oh, it does not want to focus on this palette. It's reflective. <laughs> so here is what this palette looks like. And this is really pretty. So here are just some of the, so those are just some of the shimmers. All right, I just added a couple more mattes down there and some more shimmers, so it's a very pretty palette. Hmm. 
very excited about this one. And then our fourth palette was the Tartlet Little Bloom palette. So I got this as a like three pack set of palettes at the, it was like a holiday set from Tarte at the end of last year. And here is this palette. So we have a lot of neutral palettes this month. First time. I went over that dark shade a few times, but there we go. That's that palette. Hmm. Exciting. Okay, and now for the palette that I picked. I decided to go into like my top section vanity, top vanity, <laughs> where I keep like my fancy palettes. Although I keep like Natasha Denona there too, but I pulled out a Pat McGrath palette. And this is the Divine Rose 2 palette. And my box is a little bit jacked up, but I keep all, I keep the boxes because I'm crazy like that. But I will show you the inside. There we go. Look at how pretty. So I will go ahead and swatch this whole thing since I picked it. <laughs> Okay, so this is Skin Show Rose Opal. And then we have Naked Blush. And this one is Eleganza. Oh. Oh. And Bronze Rose 005. I don't know what that means, but. Oh, Lordy. And then I'm going to go, whoops, one, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to swatch them on my hand and then show you. So much easier. We have Gold Lust, Extreme Burgundy, Divine Dusk, and Rose Seduction here. And we have two more. Oh boy, these are the special shades. Mm hmm. This is Sextra. Let me see. Sextra Terrestrial. Oh, look at that duo. Chrome, multi chrome. Oh my lord. And then this one is Astral Pink Moon. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. As I get shadow everywhere. Mm-hmm. Those are the worst swatches ever, but <laughs> so I picked this one because it had some vibrant colors, which I think I needed with all the neutralness going on here. And uh, you know, with that bright pop of pink and maybe I can play with that orange, that, that, that gold and that, um, this, this shade here with my Amhara palette, maybe, but anyway, Amhara palette, Natasha Denona pink palette, but play with the Amhara shade and the pink palette. So that is that palette. So those are the palettes I'm going to play around with for the next month. And I will keep track of the shadows that I use and let you know the tally at the end of the month. And I also have a spreadsheet where I'll keep track of everything. So we'll go from there. Anyway, I'm super excited about this new like little challenge project that I'm doing where I get to play around with my palettes. So hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hey. Isn't he pretty? Marley. He's like hugging his banana. They're a banana. They share the banana. Anyway.
New palettes. <laughs> Milo just talked to me. Milo. What you doing, Milo? Hey. Hi, pretty boy. Yeah? Hello. Hi. Hello, sir. Marley is freaking out over here. He's like, why is he playing with my toy? Oh, you can jump higher than that. Oh! <laughs> Marley, I'm sorry. That was my bad. <laughs> Bye.